Welcome to the Bourbon Master. I'm your host, Chris Wilkie. Let me run down my recent trip to Joe's Grill on uh, Brook School Road and 116th Street, 16th Street in the Fishers area. So I was there this evening and my wife and I stopped by. I actually got an order of crinkle fries with cheddar cheese, the nacho cheese on it, jalapenos, Cajun ranch and ranch as well. Really nice little pick there. But actually the reason we stopped is I know that they're one of my favorite bourbon bars in the Indianapolis area. And I know they got some great barrel picks. So I wanted to stop there because I always like trying new things. So I actually got to try three different bourbons while I was there. And the menu, um, I used to see like this big two sheet. Of, so if Joe's, if you're watching this, please get one of those back. I really appreciated the pricing and the rundown of the different picks. I had to go off this like little bitty card tonight um, and it had kind of what they had. And I didn't see some of the single barrels that are originally there. So actually, this is kind of a hint, know your bottles. Know what looks different off of things or not. So I walked up to the bar and I looked, I'm like, okay guys, 1792, is that a full proof up there? Is that a single barrel pick? It's got a Joe sticker on it, yes. So I got a single barrel, uh, 1792 full proof. Oh my, wow. All I gotta say is that out of every bourbon I had this evening and tried in some capacity, it was probably my favorite. Um, oh, it was just so rich. Mouthfeel was great, got a lot of caramel, a lot of vanilla. I got that brown sugar that was there too. And I had a little bit of the nuttiness, a little pecan. Kind of was like a little pecan pie, but not as sweet. Then I had a little bit of the earthiness with some, uh, just, it was just outstanding. So I had a pour of that. And I would recommend if you get a chance before that bottle that I just opened up, because they opened it for me, goes away, get that bottle. I think it was like 10 or 12 bucks a pour. It's well worth it. So that's my number one pick of my trip. Go try that. Second one, I went back up and I saw they had a Buffalo Trace single barrel pick. I've always loved Buffalo Trace before it was fancy or common. It was one of my go-tos. Wanted to try it. I have found the single barrel picks of Buffalo Trace are freaking outstanding. I think it's your best budget dollar single barrel out there. Um, there are some, okay, don't get me wrong, Starlight, Stellum, uh, Yellowstone. You're seeing some old Hamers right up there in my ballpark too. Um, some Hugh Hamer. You're seeing all these different lines do barrel picks. To this day, I think some of my favorites have been the subtleties within a Buffalo Trace barrel pick. Tried their Buffalo Trace Barrel Pick. It was a milder version of the first drink that I had, but the flavor just was there. And I don't even know how to describe it because it was like it was Buffalo Trace that had binged on Eagle Rare, but it wasn't quite there. It was softer and nicer. So it was up there too. Then the last one I had was the Hugh Hamer, which is the Old Fork or West Fork Whiskey Old Hamer, aged in a secondary barrel. This one is apple cider cask. I just had had, and I did a video you can go watch, about uh, my taste of the apple brandy. It tasted very candy-y. Apple cider was not there. Apple cider was just this like subtle hint. This really luscious yumminess of this bright green or even red apple there without the sweetness. It was outstanding. I will tell you, Joe's knocked it out of the park. I had put them at the top of my list as the top bourbon bar in Indy. And I'm starting to start going around different places. Wise Guys is giving them a run for their money, okay? Didn't been there, start, started out. Fox Garden threw one heck of a, a bourbon dinner the other night with the old Forrester review that I did. I just stopped by, and that's why my eyes are all red. The Cigar Bar in Ingalls, a lot smokier tonight, but fantastic old-fashioned, great bourbon selection. I'm starting to realize there's a lot more bourbon places than I originally gave credit for in the Indy area. And I was impressed tonight again with Joe's. They're holding up to their ranking with me. And those three barrel picks that were th are there, my wife sent me a picture from the bathroom that said, hey, they're selling these bottles you can pick out with the Naptown Bourbon uh, organization, which I want to learn more about them. If you're from Naptown Bourbon, let me know. I know you guys are a nonprofit in the Indy area that picks bourbon and actually sells it, well, through restaurants and stuff, I think, to help charities in town. Freaking awesome cause. I'd love to be help. I want, I'd love to help. I'd love to be a part of it if possible. But uh, they were selling these bottles and literally everyone that I had tried that I enjoyed was sold out. 
So I think I must have had some great picks. And I am interested in going actually back and trying some of the ones I didn't get to try to maybe get a bottle of them. So if you're from Joe's Grill in Fishers on 116th and Brooks School Road, you kicked it out of the park again, or hit it out of the park again, not kicked it. You're not the Cowboys kicker, Mayor, so maybe you kicked a little straighter than that. But I really enjoyed the evening. Thank you for letting us come in. And as always, cheers, Ron. Have a great night.